terrified, but there's no other choice. <laughs> This time around, I'm not waiting even four minutes. I'm just gonna be like, okay, everybody, even if I say I'm okay, I want you to resist believing me at first. I was devastated and it had me question my identity, it had me question everything. This time around, it's less depression. It's more anxiety and a little more of the compulsive, obsessive thoughts. And images that are horrifying, just a lot of times about safety, about the people you love, your loved ones, your children. And then me just having to remind myself like, oh, nope, this is just postpartum depression. Swooping in, again, stop. It's a dangerous message as, as people in the public eye to imply that there's this perfectionism going on that, yeah, it's epidemic, I think, in the West, this perfectionism. It's dangerous for us. There are moments where I think it's going to be kind of easy, but I don't think of it in terms of cured um, because I know that postpartum isn't something that lasts a week. You know, for me, it's, it's at least two years, maybe a little longer. <laughs> <laughs>